On the 25th of December in the year 800, King Charlemagne was crowned emperor by Pope Leo III, marking the beginning of the Frankish Empire. But if you want to go about becoming a medieval ruler, you don't have to conquer half of Europe. You don't have to throw your asbestos tablecloth into a fire. What are you, what are you doing? Just go on to Steam and buy Crusader Kings 3. It's a game about conquering land and marrying your sister. What? See you at Tito. My name is Enem. Von Gazdat. Ukraine not kena kokimon. Let's begin, shall we? I've created a brand new character, Count Folio of Pizzoni. He's a Hungarian pirate and a Riverian, which means that his life goal is to take control of an entire river, specifically the Danube. I've also given him a martial lifestyle, which will be a great aid in his quest. However, he's under the control of the Duke of Nitra, who in turn is under the King of Hungary, so we'll have to figure out a way to gain independence later, but for right now it's probably a good idea to be under the protection of stronger realms. I've also got two more players in the lobby. Player, playing his custom ruler name, I guess he didn't rename his character. And of course, Genghis Khan, playing his Temujin in the farthest corner of the map. I'm not sure why he isn't playing his Genghis Khan, but okay. In CK3, gold is one of your most valuable assets, but you don't start off with a lot, so let's do something about that. A great way to make some early active income is by raiding, just like a real pirate. Let me just take some stuff in Croatia, a little bit in Bulgaria, and how about we have some fun and mess with custom ruler name, or CRN as Kenneth would say. <laughs> They'll never see this coming. He stack wiped me. Wow, that's not fair. Alright, whatever. Let me see what I can invest my new capital into. How about I commission an artifact? Looks like a local artisan's up for the job. Alright buddy, listen here. I want you to make me a sword that's really long and hard and girth. Another great early game strategy is marrying someone that's related to somebody with a big army. Because of their genetic relationship, you'll automatically get a military alliance with them. Since my little folio isn't married yet, this will be a great opportunity to get him a strong ally, so let's see what we can get. Looks like the best option is the Duke of Tuscany. He's got a pretty hefty army, at least compared to mine. However, his daughter doesn't have the best stats, plus she's his daughter and niece at the same time. How does that even... you know what, never mind. Despite all that, I guess she'll do for now. Alright, now that I've secured a big alliance, it's time to get down to business. And when I say business, I mean Croatia. And I'm not talking about beautiful western Croatia. I'm talking grimy, disgusting, gut-churning, eastern Croatia. You see, Croatia doesn't even border the Danube, except for one tiny county. So I'm just gonna fabricate a little claim on it and invite the Duke of Tuscany to a little altercation with the Croats. <laughs> and there we go. Easy as he died. The Duke of Tuscany f***ing died. Hey, well at least I got a county out of it. You know what? I've been ignoring the main issue this whole time. Custom, ruler, name. I'm still really pissed that he killed all my guys. But now my army's up and running again, so how about I go and teach this little Romanian a lesson? <laughs> this time he won't expect it. Look, we're already halfway through- Oh sh- Is that his army? Boys run! Oh no, he's right on my heels! But he'll never be able to catch me on the Danube. Oh. Oh. Mm. God damn it, he killed Folio's wife, and I was actually starting to kind of like her. It's the end of the first decade, and Folio hasn't made much progress. He's only managed to secure one more piece of land along the Danube. If he wants to turn his dream into a reality, he'll have to start stepping up his game. As for the other two players, CRT is actually doing pretty well for himself, despite my attempts to raid him. Temujin, on the other hand, hasn't been up to very much. He hasn't even taken one tile yet. Maybe he's just figuring out how to play. But take a look at this neat religion I found popping up in Ireland. Oh no, looks like the Vikings are trying to wipe them out. But don't worry, if you want to help the Irish combat a Norse invasion, all you have to do is like this video. That's because I need to get more likes than DWK on his last upload. He said if that happens, he'll buy me a plane ticket to Japan. Oh. I love Japan. Oh. I love anime. Oh. I love VTubers. Oh. oh, what's this? Looks like our sword's ready. Let's check it out. Okay, well, that doesn't look like a sword. I guess I didn't really need a blade anyways. The start of the second decade means turning over a new leaf. I've decided that Folio's realm needs a new coat of paint. I forgot to mention it earlier, but I invested a portion of the money we made from the first few raids into the C&K 500, an index fund tracking the performance of the 500 largest companies in the Holy Roman Empire. Since then, the market's gone up an average of 10% each year, resulting in returns of over 150%. Wouldn't it be cool if there was something similar in real life? But never mind that, we've got big money now. It's time to stop playing games and oil up our feet, because we've got some land to grab. So let's purchase some mercenaries and get cracking. <laughs> hey. 
and here we are. That honestly wasn't too hard, but now we've hit a wall. You see, I've got all the land I can easily take from smaller guys, so if I want to take land from the big lads, I'll need to either A, invade them head on, or B, figure out a way to make them splinter apart into smaller states. Since A obviously isn't going to work, our best bet is B. Let's start with dismantling the Byzantines. Funnily enough, Emperor Michael has over 62 children. Assuming that roughly 30 of them are boys, that means if we figure out a way to pull a John Wilkes on their dad, they'll each get their own little independent realms and we can gather them up one by one. The plan's simple. Folio invites Michael to go on a hunt with him. The hunt starts off well. Folio takes him out to a secret part of the woods without anyone else around. They start making out. They start making out? Come on, man. You were supposed to take his life, not his heart, bro. <sighs> Whatever. I guess we can just hire some assassins to deal with them. This will cost us a lot of money, but hopefully they'll get the job done. And they're in love with him too. Great. How am I going to deal with him now? It seems like whenever I try to get anyone to kill him, they just fall in love with him. Wait, his realm just shattered. What happened? It says in his character journal that he died of Ligma? What's Ligma? Oh crap, CRN's already grabbing up land, so I've got to act fast. Okay, I've taken everything I could, but Romania also took some stuff before me. Now he's the only obstacle keeping me from owning the entire river. But before we do that, I need independence from Hungary, because I'm a big boy now. Let me just steal my lieges real quick, and there we go. Looks like custom ruler name also managed to become independent. Now nothing can stop us from having total war. <laughs> After a three year long conflict, Folio's finally conquered the entire river. Following the squabble, CRN's been sent off to live the rest of his life out on the island of Socotra. Now he can found a custom kingdom and sit back while our counties bring in passive tax dollars. Oh, what's this? Holy sh. Temujin conquered a county near us. Looks like he's finally made some progress. Wait a minute, he's declaring war on me? How does he think he'll ever. Oh. My. God. What the fuck is going on? When did he get so big? You don't have to be like this man! No! God, no! Please, no! Stop!